This is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to look at reversing a primitive string in C++ in place. In other words, we're going to take a string like this, so char text equals hello, and we're going to reverse it without actually copying it to a new array. We're actually going to reverse this particular array. The reason this is important is, um, well, for one thing, it's, it's just something that you, you probably should be able to do if you've got a good grasp of how um, arrays work. But also it comes up a lot as an interview question, and I once got a job just because I could do this question. I think I even uh, messed it up a bit, but, but because I could at least explain what I was doing. And hopefully it was clear that if I'd been able to test the code as I went along, I would have got the right answer. Because of that, I got the job. So it's well worth knowing how to do this. So if you've seen the, the previous tutorials, and or at least if you know your way around pointers and arrays in C++, then it's worth having a go at this just to see how far you get. This is actually kind of more intuitive to do using a for loop and working just with arrays and just leave the pointers out of it. But just for fun here, to get some more practice with pointers, I'm going to show you how to do this using pointers. And the way that I show you is just one way of doing this. Uh, there are lots of ways of doing this. But let's have a look at an example of how we could tackle this. So um, firstly, I'm going to declare a pointer to the start of the array. Let's say char pointer um, p I'll call it p star equals, although we actually are going to move this pointer, equals text. So that now points to the start of the array, to the letter h. Let's also declare a pointer to the end. And to get this, um, I need to know how long the array is. So let's say here int length, in other words, length, length of the array, equals, um, equals size of text. Now, because each char is one byte, size of the whole array will give me the number of characters in the array in the whole string, except that we've got a null terminator character here that doesn't print, that just marks where the end of the string is, that's added by the double quotation marks. So to get the number of characters, if you want to say n chars, we will have to do the size of negative one, like that. Now we can say char pointer p end. And now supposing we want to point this to the last character in the array. If we did equals text plus n chars. So um, number of chars should be five. Uh, that's the number of visible characters in the string. If the start here, this is a start, was pointing at h and we added five, we go to one, going to e here. 2 is the L, 3 is L again, 4 is 0, sorry, is um, O. And the fifth would be off the end of the array. So if we want to point this to the last character in the array, we're going to have to take the star plus the number of characters, negative 1, like that. Um, so no need to put brackets around any of this because it doesn't matter what order we do the plus and minus in in any case. So now you can check it if you want, but um, let's, let's just do that just to prove it. So the thing pointed to by the P end now will be the last letter, which, which is O in, in this case, in this string. Let's run this. And I think those warnings, you know, we've got unused variable P start here in, in problems, but um, we see there's a letter O there, which is what we wanted. Um, now what we can do is we want we I'm, I'm going to point one port, pointer to the first letter, one pointer to the last letter, and I'm going to swap those two characters around. Then I'm going to move the start pointer forward to the next character, and the end pointer back to the second to last character, and swap those around, and keep going until start. Well, keep going as long as start is pointing to a lesser point in the string than the end. So to do that, I can say while p star is less than end, because remember, we're allowed to compare pointers like that. So this is saying while start points to a memory location smaller than, than what end points to. 
and I'm gonna, in this while loop, I'm gonna increment start. So start plus plus, and I'm gonna increment, I'm gonna decrement end. So I'm gonna say end minus minus. Now we wanna swap, before we do that, we wanna swap the thing pointed to by start with the thing pointed to by end. So I can say, say thing pointed to by start, p start equals the thing pointed to by p end. And that's taken whatever character pn pointed at and moved it into the memory location pointed at by this start pointer here. But when we do that, we overwrite what's in start and we want to put whatever start points at in wherever end points. So let's save where um, the character the end points at. Let's say char save equals thing pointer to by the end pointer. Then we set start, uh, sorry, by the start pointer, because that's the one we're overwriting here. So let's say we've saved that character that start pointed to. We've set, we've set whatever um, was at the start location here. We've set that to whatever was at the end location. So we'll swap, we'll take, in this case, start points at H to start with. So we save the H character here. And then we set that memory location to whatever end points at, which is going to be O. And then finally, we can say point whatever end points at, p end, set it equal to the character we saved from the start. So now set whatever the end point, um, the end memory location, which is this memory location, put the h in there that start originally pointed at. So we've swapped the two characters around. We started start pointing at h and end pointing at o. And then we've swapped those two characters around. And this syntax is very common. If you want to swap two things, you have to remember to save the thing you're swapping because otherwise you'll overwrite it when you do the first swap. So um, you need to um, set, the, set the, the first thing, the first thing's memory location equal to the end thing, but first save that start thing. Then you can set the end thing to the start thing. This is something that I get a feeling explaining it that um, you, you might only get this when you really look at it yourself and maybe put some C outs in to see what's happening here. But I think that should work. Um, what's this warning here? I'm curious. It says unused variable start, but I think that's just because we haven't built the program. That's a hangover from the last build. Now let's output C out text and see if it's worked. Let's run this. So we'll run this and we've got hopefully a reverse string. So things to check. Also, you want to check uh, what happens if there's nothing in the string. So if it's like that, does the code crash? And we hope not. And we haven't got a crash here. Uh, so then size of is going to be one. It's still going to be one because we've got the null terminator in there, remember. Size of minus one is zero, so that's zero. And here, the end, it's going to be pointed to the start, plus zero, minus one. So it's actually going to be pointing before the start. So the loop will never execute. I think that's correct. Uh, at least it seems to work. And let's put an H in here. So what if we've got one character? Now size of will be two, H plus the null terminator. Minus one is going to be one. So the end points to the start. Um, plus um, plus one minus one, so it points to the same point as the start pointer. So again, the loop doesn't execute at all because start is not less than end, and we, we leave the, tr the string unchanged. And if we've got two characters, then it works just fine. We we'll swap the e and the h there, and it should work for strings of any size, basically. So this is one solution. I think if you um, do this with a for loop, don't use pointers, just use array syntax. It does look a bit more elegant. And there are a lot of other ways of doing this. So to practice this, um, I'd say try reversing your own string. First, um, either like go through this code and try to understand it thoroughly, put C outs in it if there's anything you don't understand and print what you actually see at that particular point. You can also try writing your own code just using a for loop and you can, uh, sorry, using 
Yeah, it could be a for loop and um, array sort of syntax instead of pointers. You can Google for code. If you Google for uh, C++ reverse string in place, you'll get lots of example code as well. And um, try, try getting something to work. And then also try writing it in a different way. See if you can think of a different way to do this. And, and again, that's a really, really good drill with arrays. And if you use pointers, it's a good drill with pointers as well. And this question, if you go for an interview with a C++ job, for a C++ job, you might well face this exact question. So um, it's really worth um, it's really worth getting your head around. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. And until next time, happy coding.